sure. Hmm. There's Ace. He's getting ready for his scam. Hold on, buddy. Actual name. Uh, Ace. Or his, it's King's Embrace. <laughs> what? His, what do you, what do you his call Tika it? name, um, it's Ace. Okay. You got it. Yeah. Because <laughs> this is just for me to say Okay. Hi, buddy. He's not the guy. Hmm? He's sort of charming. <laughs> sort of. He's pretty cool. I forget how many cats we have outside. I swear I think we we might have 20 cats out there. And he's the he's my pet. I think I'm not. his left atrium, left ventricle, right atrium, right ventricle, and his aorta coming out right there. Subjectively, everything looks really good. Um, he doesn't have significant underlying disease, just looking at it initially. Um, oh, that's good. <laughs> So right now I'm just putting color on, which allows me to see any backflow of blood through any of the valves or anything. They all look good. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and then this is where we, <coughs> we measure the, um, the heart muscle in a what we call a short axis view. Oh so this goodness. is basically taking a cross-sectional view through the heart and then we measure those walls. Um, this motion right here is the mitral valve and that's the mitral valve opening and then closing. And then this view is the aorta in cross-section and the left atrium. So that gives us a it should be in a one-to-one -one ratio, and his looks very normal. Okay. And then out here, this is his pulmonary artery. That's his pulmonic valve right there. That's his aorta with his aortic valve. And this is, we'll get flow across his pulmonic, pulmonic valve, which is a very normal velocity, normal blood flow through the heart is about one meter per second, so. That is amazing. Yeah, he, he actually looks really good. I mean, yay. you know, looking looking at them in one time frame doesn't give you a picture for what's going to happen later on in life. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say right now he looks very good. The only thing that looks a little bit odd is he has something called a moderator band, which goes hmm. that little bright spot right there. We consider one to be quote-unquote normal. Mm -hmm. um, but there is an actual heart disease where they get an abundance of moderator bands. Mm. Um, but that one I'm going to consider to be normal, like a normal variant. So that's a very normal looking heart. No, you're fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, well that's good. Uh, what is the name of this test exactly? It's an uh, echocardiogram. Okay. And are you a cardiologist? I am a veterinary cardiologist, yes. Oh. So there are other people that can perform these tests, um, but, you know, I think to get people with the most experience doing these on a daily basis, I mean, this is all I do, mm -hmm. um, it's best to find a veterinary cardiologist. Okay. That is good to know. So I do both sides um, <coughs> of his chest just to let me see what is... Okay. It's okay, sweetie pie. He's such a good boy. And most of the times the cats will just um, be fairly cooperative once they figure out what we're doing doesn't hurt them. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes they do get antsy just because they don't like to lay still, but hmm. none of this hurts them. So that's the blood flow out his aorta. 
which is a normal velocity, and then this is mitral valve inflows, which tells us how well he's relaxing, like his heart muscle is relaxing. Huh. Um, you can also do crazy things like tissue Doppler, <laughs> which will let you also see how well they're relaxing. It's a more specific indicator. This looks very normal. So I would say you're having normal cat. Yay! Well, I don't know about normal. <laughs> 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 Thank you.